सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल अग्रेडेड सो आई एम मेंटर कीर्तना फॉर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिजिकल साइंस सो सिंस द एनसीटी इज रिलीज्ड फॉर द आईसीएल एग्जामिनेशन 2024 सो देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ देयर इज लॉट ऑफ डाउट्स एंड देयर आर लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन इन द एनसीटी व्हिच इज रिलीज्ड बाय द आईसीआर एनटीए सो देयर आर सम फ्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज मोस्टली मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिक्वेस्टेड टू बी डिस्कस्ड इन ऑर्डर नॉट टू चैलेंज द दोस क्वेश्चंस so let us discuss few questions which is to be challenged okay so first question the question id is 3036 the most dominant uh, exchangeable cation in earth crust okay so see here the most dominant exchangeable cation in earth crust is calcium only okay so the calcium is right and so is also given so if you see in uh, icr uh, uh, in uh, soil science treatise book in page number 258 they have given the exchangeable cation in most dominant exchangeable cation of soil is calcium only so okay uh, so you can challenge this question because the calcium is the right okay most dominant exchangeable calcium uh, nerve crust is calcium option 2 is the correct you can challenge it okay so moving back to the next question so the question id 30027 the statements are given the statement 1 the single super phosphate double super phosphate triple super phosphate are mono calcium phosphate and statement 2 the mono calcium phosphate is water soluble and thus have high leaching losses so most of the students they have confusion in uh, this question according to the answer t is nta uh, the statement 3 uh, is right okay the statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false actually there is no need confusion please don't confuse the option 1 is uh, means statement 1 is correct all the ce phosphate comes under mono calcium phosphate and actually the mono calcium phosphate by seeing this water solubility they simply they are uh, thinking the both statement 1 and to or true but there is a twist here okay the mono calcium phosphate are water soluble that is right but they uh, they have mentioned thus have high leaching losses see please be clear that mono calcium phosphate they are water soluble only but the leaching losses are actually it is very low okay so they have low leaching loss uh, because when the mono calcium phosphate is water soluble easily combines with metal cations like iron and aluminium okay so it cannot be leached easily so the option is uh, the, the key which is given option 3 this is a right answer for this question 30027 okay and next question the question id 30053 the question is the steady state soil infiltration steady state soil infiltration rate is uh, the here also many many students they have get, get confusion because uh, the steady state soil infiltration rate is uh, controlled by texture structure because soil matrix soil matrix also controls the soil uh, infiltration rate but here uh, there are there are factors the, like soil texture okay texture structure everything it is controlled the infiltration rate is controlled by texture structure all but they have clearly mentioned the steady state of soil infiltration so after uh, all the macro micro process with this soil fills uh, this soil the soil gets steady the infiltration rate gets steady so that is con mainly controlled by water supply okay the so water supply only mainly controls the steady state soil infiltration rate so the, the option given third according to the c is actually right okay so there is no there is no need to any confusion and next question id 30078 assertion reason type is given assertion the free silica occurs in soil as quartz and opal okay actually the free silica means crystalline crystalline minerals are uh, called as free silica so the quartz and opals are one of the form of the crystalline silica actually they are uh, occurs as free silica crystalline form quartz and opal so assertion is right and reason the quartz consists of continuous framework of silica tetrahedron so, so this, this we all know okay they they talk as continuous silica tetrahedron so both option uh, means the reason and assertion are right but it, it the, the reason is does not explain the assertion so both a and r are true but r is not correct explanation of a so this is actually correct okay so please be clear in that uh, the option 2 is correct both a and r are true but is not correct explanation of a option 2 is right so moving back to the next question id 30029 they again assertion reason assertion the break of monsoon at critical stages for soil moisture stress leads to reduction in yield that is right and uh, the reason only when the break of monsoon exceeds 15 days duration or more 
Okay, so here it is all. It is it perfectly it explains the assertion. So here option one is correct. Both A and R are correct, but R is correct explanation of A. Okay, so both uh, option one is right for this question. So be uh, please be clear and confident. And moving back to the next uh, doubtful question, the question ID three double zero three six for this. The height of capillary rise of water in the soil is correct. Right, option two means here. Uh, the A only, A only is right. The height of capillary rise of water in soil is inversely proportional to radius of the tube. Okay, so the height of capillary rise of the soil is inversely proportional to radius of the tube. Actually, this is this only it is correct. So option two only. So option two is correct for the question A three double zero three six. So yes, this is actually correct according to the key. Okay, next question. The two statements are question ID three double zero one nine nineteen. Okay, so the assertion reason type is given. Here also they are get confused. Assertion the water loss is all typically displays a grayish color due to reduced oxygen level. So under anaerobic condition the soil color will be grayish color. Okay, so that is right actually. And the reason given is the upland soil usually maintains a reddish or brownish hue due to its well aerated nature. So by seeing the reddish uh, Yeah, well aerated nature, the soil will be reddish hue, but the brownish may not occur. It may be yellowish or reddish. Here it is given as brownish, so this is not right. Okay, so here the option three is actually correct only. So A is correct, but R is not correct because if they have given uh, either uh, reddish or yellowish means, then it is perfectly because in well aerated condition the soil may be yellowish or reddish hue. Okay, but it may not be brownish. Uh, so in well aerated condition, mostly in anaerobic condition, maybe brownish. So A is correct, but R is not correct. So this is option third is only right. Okay. So next question, uh, next are the assertion reason. The question ID is three zero zero four five. Assertion the Darcy flow is valid for steady and stationary flow uh, across in soil, and the reason in steady flow condition the potential gradient at every point in flow path remain constant. So here uh, the reason is correct, but assertion is not right. So the option four is perfectly matched. So this is correct. Uh, A is not correct. Actually, it is not valid. It is not valid for both steady and stationary flow process. Okay, this is wrong. But reason is correct. In steady flow condition, potential gradient at every point in flow path remains constant. Okay. So option four is correct for the question ID three double zero four five. So next question: the parent material transported by wind. The question ID three double zero seven nine. The parent material transport by wind is called since uh, the Eolin and Loss both are uh, related to transportation by wind. So uh, based on the uh, sand, sand and silt condition, we have we we have uh, studied Eolin and Loss. Okay, but here they have generally asked parent material transport by wind is called dash. So that is a common thing. Eolin is correct. Option one is actually correct. So in I triple S book at page number fifteen, if you see, they have mentioned. And also before page like flow chart is given also. Okay, so please refer that. So Eolin, uh, the mainly the parameter transport by wind is uh, mainly it is uh, by Eolin. Okay, so the Eolin is only correct answer for this. So when they ask sand fill differentiation, then we can go for loss. But most common uh, transportation parameter transport by wind is Eolin option one is right. Next question. The question ID three double zero six seven. The stable compound formed during urea hydrolysis. Again, there is a lot of confusion. Please uh, be clear. Actually, they have clearly mentioned this is a stable compound formed during urea hydrolysis. Okay, so that is ammonium carbonate. Okay, option four will be right. Okay, because the ammonium they they are confused that ammonium carbonate also may come. Carbonate also come. See. Ammonium carbonate during hydro uh, urea hydrolysis is an unstable. Okay, it is an unstable compound formed during hydrolysis. So immediately uh, it may be converted into other compound. Most stable compound formed is ammonium carbonate. So actually this is the right option for us right. Okay, so that's all about uh, the most doubtful questions by most of the students. Uh, so if you if you also have any uh, doubt related to these answer key uh, questions, you can mention in the uh, comment box and uh, and also uh, the new uh, PG the new PG classes are uh, going to be started in some the September month. So you can enroll the course. 
the, uh, the, the details regarding the co master courses, the complete courses for the ICR PG preparation is going to be started from September. So please start enrolling it. And if you have, if you want any details regarding it, it is mentioned in the description box. So please, uh, so please refer it. Okay. So that's all about uh, this video. So thank you on the note.